Well, hello. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the brand new Shantakai Hummingbird collection. Let me just show you quickly what I did get from there. I did get the, wait, where do I want to start? I did get the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. I got both of the eye quartets, the quads, and then I picked up one of the Lip Chic's there's four, I picked up Honeysuckle. So these are the products we're gonna be talking about today. But before we dive into the Shantikai goodies, I just wanna say that this video is in collaboration with one of my favorite YouTube channels, Everyday Edit. Grace over at Everyday Edit is just, oh, she's so lovely and she has such a chill vibe. I feel like lovely is just like the best word to describe her. She is breathtakingly gorgeous and she covers a lot of luxury makeup, much like I do. And she's one of those channels I feel like when she pops up in my subscription feed, I hit right away. So she does these videos. I look forward to them every month. They're called Haul and Favorites. And she basically, she goes over like her monthly favorites, um, but she also just kind of talks about all the products that she got that month. I mean, she does post, you know, content during the month, you know, like if it's, there's a new release and she just wants to review it or whatever. But her monthly recaps are so, so helpful and so, so informative, especially if you love luxury beauty products. So definitely check out Everyday Edit. Of course, I will link to her channel and her video down below in my description box. So what we decided to do, because there are two eye quads, I'm going to do a look with the cool eye quad, the one that comes in the blue packaging, and she is going to do a look with the warm quad. So we thought that was a really fun way to kind of talk about this new release and kind of split it up between the two of us. She also has um, a little bit of a deeper skin tone than me. She's more of like a medium skin tone. And we both got the um, perfect blur finishing powder as well. So it'll be really nice to see how it looks on my skin tone and how it looks on her skin tone. But before we jump into the makeup, there is like a little pamphlet in the powder and the eye quartets boxes. So deforestation threatens the Amazon. There's, you know, as we know, a gazillion different types of species, animals, insects that are all native to the Amazon. Um, and with the Hummingbird Collection, Shantakai is shining a light on the efforts of the nonprofit Amazon conservation team in their work protecting the ancestral lands of indigenous groups across the region while regenerating forests to preserve traditional cultures and ecological biodiversity. Our lip sheiks in lupine, coral bell, honeysuckle, and passion flower will directly support the foundation. So that's really great. And that's definitely one of the things I love about Shantikai. I love that they spotlight kind of different places across the world that need our help. So thank you so much to Shantikai for that. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I put on some foundation and concealer. I kind of stopped there because I didn't know if I wanted to use this as a finishing powder or as a setting powder, but I thought we would take a look together. So I'm embarrassed to say that I got these products a while ago and I haven't even taken them out of the box. Oh no, that's a lie. I did open them up just to make sure they weren't broken. Like, you know, I didn't need to return them and they were all fine. I just stuck them right back in the box and I haven't even looked at them since. So this is a bit of a first impressions as well. I should say that I'll put it in the title of this video. Um, but here is, oh, is that not gorgeous? Shantikai's packaging is always just like the absolute best. So it has this like orange metallic casing with the hummingbird on the top there. So let's take a look at this powder. And it very much looks like the real bronzers, the ones that came in the red compact that came out last summer. Yeah, I think it's the same like imprint and it looks baked just like those powders. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of do a little swatchy here. So there's a swatch of the powder. So it definitely looks like to, there's like a little pigmentation there. I just wanna see if there's like a sheen. You're not gonna be able to see anything <laughs> swatched on my hand, um, but I feel like this is like a matte powder and looking at it in the pan, I don't see any kind of glisten, satin finish, nothing. It actually looks very, very matte. So I think I may actually wanna use this as a setting powder and not so much as a finishing powder. So being that this is a baked powder, I know it's a little bit difficult to pick up product. So I'm gonna go in with my Refer 6 brush. So when you use like a natural hair brush, it actually picks up the product fairly quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to one half of my face and we'll go ahead and if we you know, can see a difference between the two sides. So I purchased all of these products off of the Shantakai site. 
and I think now they're kind of popping up on retailers, but I ordered it off of the Chantecai site because they uh, were the first ones to have it, and I was just really, really excited for this. So that is where I got it. And of course, I'll leave like links and pricing and everything down below in my description box if you're interested. I can never remember the price of this stuff. All right, so I just applied some of the powder. Wow, I really do see like the blurring. So here it is on this side of my face, and then this side has no powder. And that did not take much. I probably dipped into the powder twice, kind of like one for down here and one for up on my forehead. It definitely has a matte finish and I'm trying to decide like if it's actually making my skin look dry. I don't think so. I think it actually looks very, very natural and skin-like and I really like the blurring effect. This week took a lot out of me. My sleep schedule was off like two nights in a row. I just feel really tired and I feel like I look a little haggard. So the blurring is definitely, definitely coming in handy right now. Wow, I think that looks really nice. I think it's very dry skin. I have very dry skin, if you're unaware. I have very, very, like very, very dry skin. Um, so I do think it's very dry skin friendly. I don't feel like it's kind of like sucking the life out of my face, which a lot of powders that have like a matte finish tend to do, but this actually looks very nice. And I think it is really doing a nice job blurring. And this is a nice change from the last powder that they came out with. This is the one they came out with for holiday. It has that like pink, gold foil confetti cover. And these powders, this one, and then the one with like all the pearls on top that came out, I think last year or the year before, um, these are kind of like a gel powder balm, they called it. So it kind of is like this very, very creamy yet powdery product versus this one, which is baked. And when a product is baked, I find it to be a little bit lighter of an application because I think it is a little bit more difficult to pick up. When you go into like a powder, like a pressed powder like this one, you almost have to be careful because you will pick up quite a bit. So this powder I was using as setting or as finishing, but there was definitely like a little bit of uh, finish to it for sure. It definitely is not matte. There's definitely like a satin finish to it. And if you're not careful, I feel like you can have, end up kind of like with a thick kind of appearance of your makeup, where I feel like a baked powder like this one is going to remain very, very light. Of course, you can just keep going in and applying and going in and applying it. But I think if you like make the same effort between these two powders, the baked one is going to just give you kind of like a lighter application and a lighter appearance on the skin. All right, before we get to the eyeshadow, I just kind of want to finish up my cheek area. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Chantecai uh, Goa bronzer. This is the real bronze that I was just talking about. It's like a very similar formulation to this pressed powder, the perfect blur finishing powder that I just used. I find this to actually have less of a matte finish. It's kind of like almost like a satin finish, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this as bronzer today. I've got my Refer 22 brush. And next I've got my Chantecai Joy cheek shade. This is the one that has the wild horse imprint on there. I've got my Refer uh, cheek brush. This is their number five brush. And since I'm doing a cool toned eyeshadow look, I figured I'd use kind of a cooler pink cheek color. All right, and as for highlight, I'm gonna use the face powder that has like the gold cover from the Chantecaille Holiday Collection. This is such a gorgeous highlight, and it's definitely one I have to go easy with because it is, as you guys can probably see, it's very, very, <laughs> bright, very, very bright. It's a gorgeous highlight. And just a quick brushing of the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel for my brows. I'm using color granite today, yeah. All right, and now for the eye quads. So let me actually first show you the warm in case you're interested. But again, Grace is gonna be doing a look with the warm palette over on her channel. But since I have it, let me just show it to you. It comes in the green packaging. Oh, isn't that just amazing? I love, love, love these hummingbirds. And has the green metallic around the edges and the bottom there. And then here are the four shades. Wow, isn't that pretty? So here's some swatches for you. I just went across the top and then across the bottom, left to right. And these are gorgeous. They feel so, so lovely, so creamy and smooth. I happen to be a big fan of Chantecaille 
eyeshadows. Both of these shades you probably saw in the uh, swatches, but these two shades down here have a little bit of micro glitter in there. This one is just a really lovely satin finish, and then this one is a matte finish. My only like um, observation when it comes to like the layout of this is that the shadows look really small inside this compact. Maybe they could have made the shadows a little bit bigger or the compact a little bit smaller. Well, I personally would have preferred bigger shadows because I'm sure they wanted to make all the compacts like the same size, which I appreciate. But I think I would have, you know, I would have gone in with bigger, uh, actually like bigger pans, just wider pans, just to kind of cover more surface area. I don't know. Am I the only one that thinks it looks a, a little bit, a little bit weird, a little bit odd. So that's the warm quartet. And I'm going to go ahead and use the cool one. And the cool one comes in the very appropriate blue compact. This hummingbird is so sweet. And then it's got the blue metallic. And then here are the four shades inside. Oof, beautiful. So let me go ahead and give you some swatches. Again, I'll go across the top and then across the bottom. And there are no matte shades in this quad. We've got three satins. So these three shades are satin. And then this one, it's kind of like, like a cream to powder duochrome kind of shadow. I wonder if you guys can see the duochrome in there. Yeah, do you see how it kind of turns kind of taupey and then it goes to like that purpley color? It's really pretty, really, really pretty. I cannot wait to get that on my lids. But the rest of these are satin and then this is like one of those kind of cream to powder duochromes. All right, guys, I think I'm just gonna go straight in with this duochrome shade. I've got my Esam W23 brush. I would normally go in with my Esam W21 brush. It's like this brush, but just a little bit smaller, but it is tray dirty and it's sitting by my sink. It needs to be washed. I've been really lazy. Anyway, so I've got my W23 here. I'm gonna go into this shade. And this shade is one of those, it's like a little crumbly, so I feel like you're gonna have to like smear the shadow on. So I'm gonna do just that. I'm just gonna go ahead and smear it across my lid here. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh boy, oh boy. So, so pretty. You know, this kind of reminds me of that luminescent eye shade with that oh, beautiful creature. I think it's called the pangolin. I'm sure I'm slaughtering the pronunciation. This color kind of reminds me of that one. Wow, that is that is something else. It's like kind of subtle, but also like, ooh, what's on her eyes? I think if you want a little bit more impact, you can probably use your fingers. So I'm gonna try that right now, actually. And just go in. Oh yeah. I still prefer to use a brush. Oh yeah. I think when Chantikai came out with the luminescent eye shades, they also came out with like a flat shader brush that like really packs on um, shadows well. I did not pick up that brush because I have an overload of brushes, but when it comes to synthetic haired brushes, I really do like the Chantikai ones. I'm kind of debating picking that one up, but trying to restrain myself. Next, I'm gonna go with my Esam W36 brush and I'm going to go into, it's like a black and almost like a really, really dark, like black cherry color. Add it to my outer corner here. Oh, I'm getting, a bit of fallout there. I think you guys can probably see it right there on my cheekbone. This is a dark color, so I'm gonna to have to be very careful on how I remove it. I'm just blending that into that first shade there. Oof, shade is very dramatic, I love it. All right, I'm gonna take my Chantikai Eye Definer brush and I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go between these two and kind of run it along the top of these shadows to kind of help blend them out. Okay, taking my Refer 13 brush and just going into the lightest shade here. And I just wanna add that just to the inner corner of my eye. That color is so pretty too. I like that it has like just a little bit of pink. It like blends into this color, the duochrome color really nicely. All right, so that's it for the eye quad. I'm gonna put on some eyeliner, put on some mascara, and I'll be right back. Actually, I'm gonna do my eyeliner with you guys because I took out the Chantecaille, these Le Pearl metallic liquid eyeliners, and I have it in the shade um, Violette, 
and it's just like the best match here. Let me swatch it for you before I apply it. But it's kind of like a mix between these two colors because there's like a little bit of a shift to it. It's this really kind of like blackened purple. It's, it's so, so pretty. So I'm gonna apply this. I'm not gonna do a, a wing or anything. We know how that turns out. So I'm just going to line my upper lash line with this. And then next I'm gonna put my Chantecai um, Luster Glide Silk Infused Eyeliner in Violet Damask. This is like the only actual like pencil eyeliner I have from Chantecai and it happens to be like kind of a purpley color. So it would be a missed opportunity if I did not use it today. But I'm gonna tight line and then add it to my waterline. All right, I'm gonna apply my mascara now and I will do this off camera. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, and now for the Lip Chic. Again, I got it in the color Honeysuckle and I'm pretty sure Grace got the other colors or some of the other colors. So if you're interested in taking a look at the other shades, again, definitely don't forget to check out her uh, video. So here is the packaging. So the Honeysuckle comes in the green and then we've got that hummingbird graphic there. Oh, so pretty. And these are magnetic. And then I picked this one because it seemed like the most nude. I think the others were a little bit brighter, but I'm not sure. It's always kind of hard to tell in pictures, but there is honeysuckle. Let me do a swatch, do a swatch. There is a honeysuckle. So as you guys know, I love the lip veil uh, formula from Chantecai. That formula is just a little bit, it's like a little bit lighter, a little bit looser. This, when you actually, applied on your lips, you can actually feel like there's a little bit more of a thickness to this particular uh, lipstick, but I enjoy it just as much. It's, they both are just very, very in my wheelhouse. There isn't a ton of pigmentation. They're really easy to wear. This is incredibly comfortable and moisturizing on the lips, just like the lip veils. I think the lip veils are just a little bit more uh, glossy and shiny and um, like, ultra moisturizing on the lips and I happen to like that. But these are incredibly beautiful and really comfortable and gorgeous and the colors are beautiful. So this honeysuckle color I feel like is a very like my lips but better shade. How lovely, this is definitely going into my purse. I have like five lip products in my purse at this point. Well, here is my final look and I'm, you know, it's just another Chantecai collection that I'm just so pleased with. Their products are just, so impeccable, they're so refined. They're, these collections that they come out with are so tight, you know, there's never too many products, but it's never just, you know, a repackaging or repromotion of something. Like, they're special, they're really, really special. And I just, you guys know, I just enjoy the Chantecai products so much. I love my eye look. I feel like Chantecai is a brand that you would kind of assume is a little bit on the safer side, but I feel like they do like just the prettiest eyeshadows. They're not like really gaudy or anything, but they're definitely not like a matte taupe. So anyway, really enjoyed these products today. Thank you so, so much to Everyday Edit for collabing with me. Don't forget to check out her channel and her video. And if you're over here from her channel, thank you so much for swinging by and stay a while. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And please let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. I will see you in my next video.